Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to learn is how to create installer projects using Visual Studio. Uh, this is a question that I, uh, I got asked a lot because uh, Visual Studio removes the support for, ins for like installer projects in 2010, I believe after 2010, none of the Visual Studio comes with the template for installer projects. So I was doing a little research like one month ago because a customer have a problem with one installer that I create a uh, long time ago. So I was trying to find a way to do it with to do an installer project without having to go back to all the studios. So then I realized that Microsoft they still have the installer project template but doesn't come with Visual Studio because they're trying to promote, um, I don't remember which technology it was, I see Installer Anywhere, that you have to buy it because the template included is Installer Anywhere, I think, and it's really expensive. So you can create a Installer project using the old template, but you have to download it. So if you have to Visual Studio 2017, you can download it from here. I'm going to put these links in the description of the video. And the same goes for 2015 and 2013, because 2010 was the last one that have um, something to create installer projects. So in this case, you can download from here and then just run the installer. And after that, you can open Visual Studio, for example, here. I was checking my extension just to remember which extension was that I used, but um, I can close this. So basically, let's do, let's create a, a installer project for a dummy application. So we're going to create a new project. Uh, let's do console app. In here, we're going to do console. Punto Sorry, that was the miss of Spanish and English. Console dot right line. Hello installer. And then console read line. And then we exit. That's it. We compile. Hello installer, we press any key and it should finish, done. So we're going to do um, create an installer for this dummy application. I have not created one in a while, so I'm going to figure it out right now. Okay, so then let's see. Other type of project, Visual Studio Installer, Setup Project. And this is going to be Setup. We just call it setup right now. Okay, so first what we need to do is if we have an icon, I don't have one, so I won't put any. And here the author will be Jose Manuel Ojeda. Uh, the description, dummy app. Uh, if there is another version installer I want to detect it, that's, I put it to true. I will install for all users. Um, I will leave the localization and everything like that. Uh, the manufacturer will be Bit Frameworks. In here will be HTTP. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to set up as version one, and the target platform will be. It can only be one of, or uh, it can be like uh, 64 bits or 32 bits. In this case, let's do it 32 bits, but it will depend on how you're compiling your application. Okay, so we close that. After that, what we need to do is view file system. 
So we have the application folder, the desktop, and the programs menu. In programs menu, I want to create a new folder called my my dummy app. And in here, we'll add a shortcut. Oh, well, we need to do something else before, but uh, well, let's create the folders right now. Uh, application folder, the application folder will be mm, read in here the application folder we need to add a project output so we will get um, let's see I don't see the other uh, project so maybe I need to add a reference add project output Oh, that the was the name, sorry. So yes, we have the reference to the project. So we're going to do dummy app for installer. And we will use the primary output. The primary output will be basically the executable file or the DLL, depending on what you're doing. So, and the configuration we will use active, which is in this case is the book, I think. And we close it. So here we have the primary output, output and the reference assembly. It gets more complicated if you probably have a lot of reference for third-party DLLs. But in this case, it's a basic application. I don't even know why they add this. Um, but let's leave it as it is. So in the programs menu, we have a folder already, which is called my dummy app. So in here, we will add a shortcut to the application folder to the primary output that will be the executable file. Here we put a name. And we can do it also on the desktop. We add a new shortcut. Um, let's see. I'm going to delete it and create it again. Or I think I can copy. No. Perfect. Uh, so let's save. Close. Reveal. And that's it. If we go to the bin folder, let's open this. We have the book release. We are in the book, so in the book we'll have the output. There is an exe application which runs the MCI MSI application installer. So we run this. Go next. Now we see, um, since we compile for 32 bits, is program files on 32 bits, the name of the publisher, that's with Frameworks, that's my company, and the name of the project. This is wrong, maybe we need to change it, but um, let's change it right now and compile again. So here, properties, and let's see, product name, Domi up. We rebuild. Go to the output. We have the setup. Next, and now it's not setup, it's dummy app, that's, which is okay. And this is going to store for everyone as default. In here, they there is a way to sign the installer so you don't get this. But for that, you need uh, a certificate and a lot of stuff. Maybe in the future, I will do a video for that. But the certificate is really, really expensive. So we skip that part for now. OK, so it's running and finished already. So let's see. Now in here, I should have 
um, a shortcut. I remember that I put one in the desktop. Here, my dummy app. It's the application that I create. Hello installer, if I press enter again, it will close. The same in program files. Recently add my dummy app, but we should have a folder also. Here, my dummy app. And the same application is running. So if you want to remove it, You will see it in here. And let's uninstall this. And it's gone. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can create more complicated installers. I, I'll try to cover some of them uh, later. Uh, but so far, this is the basic way to create a setup project using Visual Studio 2017. The same works for 13 and 15. And in 10, you still have the, the template, so uh, you know that it's working. And that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.